friends hello friends hello i'm so happy to see you today you'll have to excuse my monotoneness today i cannot talk very loud or very well um i get a tooth pulled yesterday no the day before yesterday tuesday tuesday they, they pulled my tooth out of my mouth had to go had to get out of town fuck but they pulled it like all the way out of the back so it's a little bit hard for me to like speak for the most part what is this guy doing back there he's like a worm i swear but yeah it is difficult for me to kind of raise my voice and talk as loud as i normally would or also move my lips like i normally would too so Okay, though, I am not gonna let that get in the way of me giving you something to do today. Yeah! Woo! So you, it's all about you. And what is it that you need to do today? A project? You need a project? A hobby? Something to do? I have got you covered. I'm gonna give you something to do today to wipe your boredom away. There's only one catch to this project. And one thing in particular that you have to have in order to do this. You're gonna need to put a hole in your ear. Can you do this? Perchance? We are gonna be making some little earplugs today. You can follow along if you'd like to, because you know here we're always having a, a jolly good time. But this will be a lot of fun, because I'm gonna take you on a journey back to the early 2000s, where this was very, very popular to do to yourself. My gauges for a pretty long time and the whole reason I even got into resin to begin with is so that I could make my own ear gauges. I was going to like Spencer's, Hot Topic all the time every couple of months and checking for new earplugs, tunnels, tapers, anything that I could stick in here and they never had anything different for months. Months I went and they never had anything different. I was getting so sick and tired. I was like, I want some new jewelry. The pandemic rolled by. I started seeing a lot more resin videos online and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm just gonna make my own. So I went on Etsy, we got ourselves a little mold. Went to Michael's, we got ourselves some resin. <coughs> Suck spit while I was talking. Ugh. I don't think we're gonna be able to talk a lot in this video. Oh, I'm so sorry to let you down. It's okay. I just need to do the intro. <laughs> just need to do the intro and then I'm gonna, unfortunately we're gonna be voicing over most of those videos. So thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate you sticking around. This is difficult. And yeah, I have been making my own ear gauges ever since. So that's what we're doing today. I wanted to mix a little bit of clay into it. You know, you can only do so much with the resin and glitter and colors and stuff like that. So I still have a shit ton of this clay. So be prepared to see a lot of clay videos coming up probably because this stuff has got to go. <laughs> I've got too much of it. But I wanted to mix my clay with the resin and kind of make like, you know, uh, a cool design, something that you different, unique that I haven't made before, owned before. So, you know, we're making some jewelry today. If you got earplugs, you go enjoy. I feel like I can't open, like this feels like it. I feel like if I, I feel like I'm trying to ventriloquist myself. Oh my God. Okay, let's get started. I'm done with this. You, you're either gonna get your tools ready or very comfortable on your seat because we're starting. Fuck, let's go. Hey, hey, settle down now. All right, settle. All right, as you can see, I've got two colors of clay here. And what I'm doing now is rolling them into a ball to get rid of any cracks or anything in that, make sure it's all smoothed out. And then I'm gonna flatten it with my hands here just to kind of stretch it and pull it apart best that I can so it fits the size of the gauge that I'm going to be placing it on. Notice how the clay still has a little bit of thickness to it. You really don't want it to be very thin. So you want to leave it a, a little bit of girth, but not too girthy. So you can go ahead and roll it out as well. Oh, oh, careful there, cowboy. I already went ahead and made my own gauges. I made these out of resin and a black alcohol ink. So that's what I'm using now to place the clay on top of. You may also make your own gauges. If you'd like to watch a video on me showing you how to do that, you can comment down below and I would be more than happy to show you how to make your own earplugs. But that's what I'm using here. I've already got this pre-made and I'm just sticking the clay over top of it and shaping it to the circle so that I can get rid of any excess here. Now with all of the excess clay removed, I'm just using a little roller tool to kind of smooth it out and make everything nice and flat. No lumps, no fingerprints in it. 
Okay, boys, things are getting exciting now. We're going to go ahead and carve our design. Now, you can go ahead and carve any design you want, but I'm doing a drip design. This is what I wanted to do. I thought it would be cute, simple, very easy. So just using this tool here, as you can see, to go around the clay and carve out the exact design that I want. When you're satisfied with your design, you can go ahead and use that same tool to remove any excess clay from the, the gauge and start shaping it out. And when you're all done, it should look something like this. I did the pink and the green one yesterday as a test run to see how it would look and work for me. And it worked out really well. So that's where we're doing the pink and the black one today. And now we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same process to make a matching pair for each. If you like pina coladas, if you like resin or clay. Now let me give you a quick update because using your eyeballs, you're gonna notice that something strange is going on here, okay? So first off, the hearts are because I had some leftover resin. These hearts are just gonna be little fridge magnets. Now, but if you look at the clay, you'll notice that I painted over top of it with my shiny paint. You know that I'm obsessed with my shiny paint. So everything now has a color shift to it, including the purple one here, but the pink and the green and everything's got a color shift effect now. What I'm doing now is using resin over top of everything. I'm brushing it on with a very cheap dollar store paintbrush. I don't recommend using a paintbrush that you like. It will not come off. It will ruin the paintbrush. So use something that you're okay with throwing away later because it will be ruined. But I just mixed up a little bit of resin. You don't need a whole lot. And I chose to do this because if I take the clay off of the gauges now at this point and try to bake them, it's going to ruin the design. It's going to all fall apart because it's so soft. So it's best to just leave them on where they're at and then cover it with some resin. If you have UV resin, that might be a little bit easier and quicker. You won't have to wait as long. I'm just using regular old resin. So I'm going to have to wait a few hours, hit it with a torch a few times and knock out any bubbles. And these should be really cute when they're done. So I cannot wait till these are dried. I cannot wait to see if you're going to do this too because these are actually looking pretty good. I'm pretty proud, pretty excited. Make sure to hit that like, that thumbs up for this y'all. Well, here is our final product. I am so excited. These are looking really good, to be honest. You know me and projects. Sometimes they get really chaotic and really out of control, so I cannot wait till these are dried so I can check them out, see how they look and feel. I'll check back with you in a few hours. Great googly moogly! I am so bad at starting videos so early in the morning, like by the afternoon. I just, I just know what I'm gonna say and what I'm gonna do. In the morning, I have no fucking idea. I sit here for 30 minutes in between each cut just thinking about what the hell am I supposed to say? <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> so, okay. So we're going to see how everything turned out now. I'm going to put these in, test out the gauges and stuff, check out the little fridge magnets. I'll glue some little magnets on the back of them later. I was worried because last night I checked them out and usually when I do resin, I'm very impatient. Now you should wait like eight to 12 hours before you go popping things out, eight at least. But that's like the bare minimum. Like it's probably still going to be a little bit like a little bit flexy, a little, it's still hardening, you know, it takes like a couple hours for it to harden up. So I was touching it like six hours in last night and like the clay was being weird and I was really worried that like it wasn't going to like chemically react properly because originally I was going to use the Mod Pudge and it was like Mod Pudge won't react with your soft clay the way you want it to. So I was like, I just used the resin, but uh, I think everything came out okay. <laughs> I think if anything, I would just need to go back and put maybe a little bit more resin over the clay and more so around like the edge of the gauge more than just on the top. But I think that everything came out amazing. Everything is dried. Everything's good to go. So let's be popping a bit. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Also, don't judge my button. You can if you want, I suppose, because you're a human with free will and shit. I just did this to put the, the gauges in and I made this bun six times. Six times I did this and it, I'm done. I'm done with it. Ow, in my elbow. Pick the fucking chair. <laughs> What's going on? Take a quick look at these. These are looking pretty cute. Here's our little heart one. Here's our other little heart one with the pink. These are super cute. I cannot wait to stick these on my fridge. Oh yeah, see that's what I'm talking about. The resin on this one, did not do well. Like, I'm gonna have to put it, especially on this middle. Like, I touched it like six hours in and I went, <clears throat> I'm like, oh, oh, it should be dry. And it wasn't. And I think I fucked it up, but.
I think I covered this one well. I don't think the clay is moving or anything. I think everything is okay. I think these came out okay. If anything, I would just need to put a little bit more resin over top of them. But hey, other projects have come out way worse. So we're doing good still. Thumbs up, like, like this video for projects going well because a lot of the times they don't. All right, which one are we gonna do next? Pick a hand, pick a hand, son. Any hand, any hand that you want. This one? Yeah, good choice. Pop these out. Oh. Okay, these are cute. I do like these. I It's hard to see the pink. Oh, these are cute though. Don't look at my face. These are so cute. Oh, I like these. I made these. People are going to be like, oh my God, where'd you get those at? And I'll be like, I made them. And they'll go, you made them? And I'll go, yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> Don't you just love arts and crafts? Cute. Look at this. Oh, obsessed. Okay, let's check out our other ones now. If I like the pink and the green ones that much, I think that I'm about to fall. Oh yeah, I'm falling in love. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these are cute. I can't believe I made these and it worked. And it came out okay. Everything went. Ow, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, now it's sideways. Stop it. Oh, these are cute. Get out of the way. Oh, these are adorable. Oh, how cute are these? Oh, I'm so happy. You have no idea. Oh, 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 yeah. These are nice. These are some nice earplugs. See, this is why I just make my damn own. I have whatever I want, whenever I want it. Oh, yes. This was a great project with a great outcome. I cannot tell you how pleased I am. I cannot wait to boogie on downtown with them. Hey, if you liked today's project and you had a really good time hanging out with me, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate you. It helps me to know I'm doing something right and it helps me to not cry and puke at the same time. It is a medical disorder that only can be cured by you hitting the like button. I'm so sorry. And me? I would love to hear from you. So please comment down below. What was your favorite part about today? What was your favorite pair? Do you like the pink and the black? Do you like the pink and the green better? Do you not have gauges? Will you be making some fridge magnets instead? All is acceptable. Please let me know. I'm so curious. But for real, I honestly do appreciate you so much. Thank you always for tuning in and checking me out and following along with these silly little projects. I really do appreciate you. It gives me a sense of purpose in this life. So thank you so much for being here with me. Take care. Be safe. Keep your beans cool. I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye. -bye.